see welcome back to another interesting tutorial here on t elegant vlogs today we're going to be cutting out and sewing the sketch pattern we drafted last week let's get started as you can see i've gone ahead to add one inch allowance to the waist area this is one inch for joining the elastic then i did the same thing to the back too then i added one inch to the end as you can see right here so i want to cut out the pattern So you just follow the line as you cut. So this is the front, then I'll cut out the back pattern too. So we have the back piece, this is a back piece and right here we have the front piece, okay? Now I need to explain something before I go home because we are sewing scuba so and scuba fa fabric is very stretchy so I didn't add any allowance to the side, I'm not adding allowance to the side because we, we have to reduce the size because we are using the fabric that is stretching. We are using a stretchy fabric. So that's why I didn't have the low ones to the pattern. So which means I'm still going to hold my one inch allowance by the side. Okay. And one more thing is this. The skirts I'm about to sew, I'm not going to add that. Okay. 
I won't be adding that to it. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to close this that up. Okay, I'll be closing the that up. So how do I go, go about this? I'll cut this line off right here. Okay, then I'll close it this way. So you just go ahead and use your paper tape to close up the dark scenes. I will not be putting the dark on the on this fabric. Can see this is a fabric i'll be using very very stretchy can we see that so that is why i didn't have any allowance to the pattern so and the skirts we are making we're not putting zip at the back we're not putting zip on it so which means we are cutting both on fold we'll cut the back piece on fold then we cut the front piece on fold so and when you are cutting you make sure you are cutting to the stretchy side can you see it so you fold to the stretchy side this way Have it let's call the front piece first make sure you fold your fabric well so that you don't waste your material i don't believe in wastage okay this way put it this way then you pin it down i like to pin my pattern piece to the fabric so that when i'm cutting it won't shift okay can you see the way i'm pinning it right now Make sure you pin it, you pin it down by the side. So avoid shifting. Please, if you have any question, you can drop your question on the comment box. I'll be there to answer all your questions. Okay, but it's so easy, just this way. Okay, so, so we can now call it out. So as you can see, you just follow the pattern. So we are done cutting both the back and the front pieces. So the next thing, let's go to the sewing machine and let's start sewing for the front piece. So remember, we have one inch as our allowance for sewing. Our sewing allowance is one inch. So you can mark one inch by the side. See the way I'm marking it because. If 
you are a beginner, you need to mark so that your lines will be straight. So that you can have a straight line. So just go ahead and mark it down. You mark the two sides down. Then you can pin. You pin the two together. Just pin the beginning. Okay, pin it at the beginning. Then you pin it. And remember the way you are placing your fabric. Can you see? This is the, the front pattern. So the front side of the fabric facing the front back side of the other one. The front side of one is facing the front side of the other one. Okay. Then you pin the beginning. Then you pin it down. Then you sew. And make sure because it's a stretchy fabric when you sew please don't stretch okay don't stretch it We are almost done. Can we see this sketch right now? We are almost done. So there's the sketch. Can you see? So the next thing we're going to do because we're putting elastic and we already had an allowance for the elastic. So We'll measure around the waist, what do we have around the waist right now? Can you see the way I'm measuring it? You measure it's round. Right here, I got the on the waist. Thirty. So I cut elastic twenty eight inches. Twenty eight inches of elastic. That is what I'll cut.
then the first thing you do to that last stitch is that you join it at the edge this is how the elastic is can we see that's the elastic so we'll insert it inside the waist this way then we sew we sew it round so you just join it to the inside So we are done sewing the elastic as we can see this is the elastic in it then you use the elastic to fold it in so can we see the way it is to fold the skirt in so this is what we've got that's all we've got can we see this yeah so for us to pin the elastic down inside you can just go ahead and sew it go ahead and tack it down with your machine so the sewing allowance inside so that it will not be coming out anytime you wear it so just tack it down this way this way then the other side so we have just one more thing then we are done the next thing is to bend it down we want to hem the down and this is how to go but it's just folding one inch. Remember, we left one inch allowance at the end. So we are going to bend in the one inch allowance right now. That's all you do. Then we are done with the skates. Make sure you don't stretch your fabric because we are dealing with a stretchy fabric already, so that your clothes will not lose shape. Then we are done. So let's see our skirts. Right now, I'll go to the ironing table. I'll iron it out, then put it on the dummy so we can see the outcome of what will be made today. As you can see, this is the beautiful skirt we have made. If you're looking into starting a clothing line, this is one of the things you can start with. You can wear this as an office skirt. You can wear it to the church or to a party, anywhere you want to wear it to. And if you have enjoyed our video for today, kindly click the subscribe button, kindly share and like our tutorial.